people came from all over the country to San Francisco with essentially the same story. And that story was a story of homophobia and feeling browbeaten by their individual families, by their neighborhoods, by the communities in which they lived. There needed to be some community support related to these kinds of issues. And so the AIDS Health Project was really born out of three basic ideas, a need for professional mental health services, a need to bring psychological support and expertise in behavior change, and then lastly, a goal around community support. I think about mental health as wellness. People are more likely to make better, healthier choices for themselves emotionally, physically, relationship-wise, if they are supported and are having their mental health needs addressed. The fact that HP kind of began its mental health work at the height of the AIDS epidemic, I think is no coincidence. AHP continued the flame of the groups program. You know, the, in 1992, the city consolidated and said, okay, AHP will run the groups. It was the home to, to the groups, and it's something that was so, and continues to be needed. The epidemic has changed, but the need is still there. People thought, you know, that it was over, but then they found that they're alive. They wake up another day, another day, another day. Now what? You've uh, started the counseling and testing program, not only in the city, but probably really the very first large-scale HIV counseling and testing program really anywhere in the world. AHP were the people who gave me my diagnosis when I first tested positive back in 1988, but they've been really instrumental in my care since I was diagnosed. So to volunteer is a chance for me to give back. I want to keep whatever is going on that's so wonderful in my life right now and the element that I know is working is this program. What I do in my recovery is mine, and that's what I like about AHP. This is really my first thing that I was doing coming out of college, and so it was really, it was exciting, and I was nervous, and it ended up being everything and more that I expected. I feel like I really value the counseling skills that I've gained. Not only has it helped me in my counseling sessions, but in just interactions with people in my everyday life. I think when people think of LGBTQ issues, they think of gay marriage or they think of, you know, workplace discrimination, which are very important things. But mental health of queer people, that oftentimes gets swept under the rug. We're not only doing mental health for the HIV community, but we've started looking more at working with the LGBTQ community, partly because I, in both communities, it's sort of something that is hard to access for a lot of folks. I think the changing of the mission is actually a very natural evolution of the HP's services. The institution has been here providing incredible service to the community for a very long time. And over the years, as the needs of the community has, have changed, the services that the HP provides have changed as well. Every now and then, kind of in the groups, I am aware that we actually are saving people's lives. It's critically important. There's a principle um, in, in theology that sort of talks about the idea of not just, you know, living life or, you know, going beyond like surviving or, you know, living, but actually flourishing. It really makes HP a space that allows for flourishing, um, you know, going beyond just like surviving or living, but really being able to be happy. All kinds of different people who come through our doors are impacted by the work that they've seen done or the work that they've done and carry what they learned with them and the knowledge that they have and whether they're whether they stay in an organization like ours or they go into a private practice or they become a, a doctor or they become whatever they're going to become the experience of being someplace where the expectation of culturally competent care is sort of the foundation of the work. I just think that is going to change who trainee or admin intern or whomever volunteer is going to change how they see the world and I think that's going to help make the world better. Not to be too grandiose, but um, I do. <laughs>